Hi there, Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab again and today we're going to check out the little solar farm here at the Smart Energy Lab. Uh, it's a tracking system. Now you may not have seen tracking systems before but this is a single axis tracking system. What it does it has a 90 meter long torque tube that's orientated north-south and this torque tube has about 34 kilowatts of solar panels connected to it and they track the sun from morning facing east, horizontal in the middle of the day and facing west in the afternoon. This system is supplied by Arctech Solar, one of the biggest tracking companies in the world and they have some very innovative technology using uh, wireless comms to control the skew drives that rotate this enormously long uh, torque tube. So. Let's go and check it out. So I'm standing in front of Arctech Solar's monitoring comms box. Basically this uh, is a weather station with Wi-Fi communication to the AI controllers on the SKU drives on the torque tubes that rotate the solar panels. Uh, it's quite a lot to say. But uh, if you look up here, there's the weather station um, and there's the antenna. So this particular comms box can cover a whole solar farm. I'm not quite sure the maximum range, but it certainly can control way more than one skew drive. So let's have a look at the solar trackers up close. Behind me is the beginning of the 90 meter long single axis tracker. Now they call these technically 1P trackers, one panel wide. These are Longi Solar. Longi Solar, one of the biggest company solar panel manufacturers in the world. In terms of utility scale, a very big player. Uh, these are the 435 watt modules. These are mono perk, uh, hence this is the back sheet. Uh, they're facing west in the, at the moment because it's the afternoon. It's uh, been quite a job installing these, mainly because of all the walking. You get to walk up and down uh, <laughs> the tracker quite a lot of times putting all the panels on, but we did have quite a bit of help here at the Smart Energy Lab with my electricians and some labourers to put this unit in. Now, th these systems are designed to be driven in with pile drivers, uh, so those posts behind me are driven into the ground, so they're um, over a metre in the ground for the 1P and two and a half metres in the ground for the two panel tracker, which we haven't completed yet. So I've reached the halfway point. This is the skew drive. Now the skew drive is a um, 24 volt driven motor, DC 24 volt. It gets its power from the PV array itself through a DC-DC converter built into the AI controller. Now this AI controller has an antenna so this is the antenna here. The antenna is control, well, is picking up the signal from the monitoring system, which monitors wind direction and speed and time of day and orientates the tracker into the uh, correct position. It can even put it into what's called the stow position. So the stow position happens when the wind speeds are high, and so it puts it so it will be protected from wind damage. Now behind me are the other half of the array, so this is a it's still the same tracker but we've got half of it with monofacial perk Longi Solar 435 watt uh, half cut cells and the other half are these. These are bifacial Longi Solar 435 watt half cut cells. Identical basically in every way except the fact that these are bifacial. That means the back of these panels actually produces electricity as well as the front which is the other side. Now why would you do this? Why would you have um, cells exposed on the rear because there is light <laughs> in all directions and you get a certain amount of bounce off the ground it's called albedo the albedo factor of the ground um, depends on the color of the ground uh, but somewhere between about 10 and 15 percent of the uh, total so global solar radiation is actually bounced off the ground the albedo so that means you get a free benefit from the back of these modules but the other thing and I was really surprised to discover this, is that in foggy conditions, you know, we do get a fair bit of fog here on the mountain, Mount Tulibuwong, we're about 700 metres above sea level here, uh, and on a foggy day, these bifacials really work quite well uh, compared to the monofacial panels that we just saw behind me. 
That's because the back of these is receiving almost the same amount of irradiation uh, from the whiteness of the fog as is the front side. So you're getting a kind of like a double boost in foggy conditions. The other thing about this tracking system too is the production curve of it is so flat. Now, if you're familiar with fixed arrays, what tends to happen is uh, you get this big peak in the middle of the day of power production on a sunny day. Because when the sun's perpendicular to the panels, that's when you get the most power. But with a tracking array, you've got the panels perpendicular almost from first thing in the morning uh, all through to the late in the afternoon. So when you look at the power curve of these uh, trackers, it's very flat will often sit at uh, near full power from you know this time of the year uh, which is just coming into spring from about nine o'clock in the morning through to about four o'clock in the afternoon so that's great when you're trying to uh, even out the amount of generation onto a network so this tracker is the first of several that we're installing here at the smart energy lab for Arctech solar the next one is pretty damned exciting it's a 2p tracker I'll show you that once we've got it up, but that means it's two panels wide and uh, the torque tube's actually two and a half meters in the air. It's uh, quite a big operation to install, but uh, we've got some help with that one. All right, see you soon.